Hi, my name is Deva Peach, and I'm here to work with Mary Joy through the interpreter. And I'm going to take my uh, position as the, the, the interpreter is going to take my position as the speech therapist. She's 15 years old. She's from the Philippines. She has severe hearing loss. Her her speech is pretty good. She can't talk very fast though. She tends to need people to speak slowly when they speak to her so that she can catch things. Um, she speaks in English, a little bit of Filipino, and sometimes sign, sometimes C sign. And she can read lips a little bit. And when reading lips, or um, and through this assignment, we're going to ask her some questions, and she's going to try to read the lips of the interpreter, and then respond. Are we ready? Okay. We're excited. Let's go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Deva says, make sure you speak loud enough so the microphone can pick you up. What is your name? Mary Joy. Mary Joy. What is your middle name? I don't have one. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm 15. What grade are you in? What grade are you in? What grade? Are you in? In. In. Ninth? Yeah. Ninth. What is your mom's name? Judy. Julie. What do you have sisters? Yeah, I have sisters. And yes, Julie. I have sisters. And brother. A, a twin and a brother. What is your favorite color? Orange. Your favorite color? Happy. Pink. What is your favorite food? Everything. <laughs> what do you want to be someday? What do you want to be someday? I don't know. Who is your speech therapist? I don't know, she says. You don't understand? Do you not understand, Deva says? I don't understand. The interpreter wants to clarify. Do you want me to? Deborah says, let's try it again. Let's keep keep trying. Who is your speech therapist? Who is your speech therapist? What do you mean? She says, what do you mean? Do you want me to sign? No. <coughs> Who is your Speech therapist. Um, Deba says, why don't we change it to a different word? Who is your speech teacher? Teacher. Or speech? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know his name. I don't know his name, though. Okay. What movie do you like? I don't have a favorite. <laughs> what is your favorite class? Math. Math. Um, how do you communicate with your sisters? How, how do you communicate with your sisters? How do you communicate with your sister? Sister. How do you talk or sign? Sign sometimes. <laughs> she says sorry, her phone is going off. That's okay, that's okay. So how do you how do you communicate with your sister? No. How do you do you talk sign? How do you oh, communicate? Talk, yeah. talk. Uh, or, yeah. talk or or sign. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> it's interesting to see, you know, Mary Joy. Third time we've tried and tried and tried again. You're starting to become more familiar with the word. 
which is too bad because, you know, we want it to be fresh, yeah. but at least you're learning and picking up things faster. You're improving on your speech and reading um, lips. But uh, that last question kind of seemed to have a little bit of a problem. But you talk really fast, boy. Okay, so now I want to ask you some questions, evaluate you about your family and how you interact with them. Okay. When you arrive home from school, you arrive home and your family's there. And how do you communicate with them? Do you wave? Do you sign? Do you talk? What do you do? I'll usually get them to get their attention by using their name. And if your family, your brothers or sisters, if they're in a different room or they're in a bathroom or in the bedroom, kitchen, wherever, do you have to go? What do you do? Do you go get them? No, I'll yell. I'll yell to get their name and then they come and get you or what do you mean, she says. Like, if you want to tell them something or talk to them about something, do you find that person so you have eye contact, or do you just yell through the wall? No, I, I just yell. If your sister's in the bathroom, for instance, do you knock on the door and then talk yeah. and you can hear everything? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can hear everything. Yeah. And if your sister is talking and she says, wait a minute, can you hear that? Yeah. Through the door if the, with the door closed? Yeah. Yep, yep, I can hear that. So, and your communication, do you communicate half English and half Filipino? Yep, that's true, uh, Mary Joy says. And how much do you do you use uh, Filipino language? Um, uh, well, I have about half and half, to be honest. Um, if I don't understand something, then we might switch back to English or something, But or I'll rely on paper and pen and write it. But... Um, for the most part, it's, I usually understand. If they don't understand something, I'll write to make sure that they can follow me. Interesting, okay. Next question here. When you socialize with your family at the dinner table, you know, say you're all sitting there watching TV or, or you're at the dinner table, how do you communicate with your family? And how often do you communicate? And then, how often do you sign or you know, speak? You mean at school? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, you throw out the idea about school. We're talking about home. Sometimes I write. Um, if I don't understand something very clear, I'll write or kind of use my sister to help go through that. And do you use your sister a lot to do that? No, only once in a while. And do you talk most of the time with your sister? And mom, you spend more time writing, or when do you when do you sign? Do you sign? No, I don't really sign that much at home. No one in your family signs. My sister, my sister can sign pretty well. My twin also. I don't know how often though. Not very much. Deb is saying, how much do you sign? Do you sign like every day? Do you sign at home, or once in a while? Once in a while. Once in a while. And for the most part, you talk. Yep. And we tend to talk a little bit quiet, or a little bit louder. My parents are always saying, quiet, yeah. quiet, a little bit quieter. So, you need to practice on that. Okay, third question. <clears throat> um, let's see, most of the time you voice, you said that already. Okay, so, if you go to a movie, and it's really loud, and people are really all around you, they're all talking and everything, and say you're wanting to communicate with your sister. Can you hear what she's saying, even though other people are talking? Is it annoying, or uh, we'll, we'll sign and talk if it's if it's really loud. We'll sign and talk. And can you hear for the most part? Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you voice, then you kind of talk louder or quieter. Sometimes it's too loud. Yeah, I accident. <laughs> On accident, I'll talk a little too loud, but. Okay. If you're excited, do you yell sometimes and then think, oh gosh, you're talking too loud, and then realize maybe you need to be a little quieter, and then somebody will tell you, oh, you need to be a little quieter. Seems like your sister's a pretty good support for that. Is that right? Yep. And your mom? Mm. If you say something wrong, if, you, if you're talking and it's oh, yeah. the wrong time to talk, or if you're talking about the wrong thing, do they let you know that? They're good support that way? Yep, they do. Okay, fourth question.
Okay. If you're having a seriously deep conversation and you're, you said you were going to write, you'd write if it's something a little more complicated. And then if you're discussing something with your sister, you can talk and sign. Yeah. And if it's something serious, does she usually sign to make sure you understand? Yeah. If it's not serious, then no, I just talk. Okay. Fifth question.